Hand-me-down sweater. Life's an everyday adventure. That's my philosophy. It was a chilly morning, so I decided to put on a sweater. As I pulled a sweater off the shelf, the entire stack fell on top of me. Not the most graceful start to my day. In the mess I made, I noticed what used to be my favorite sweater, a hand-me-down from my mother's best friend. Looking at the faded purple sweater closely, I realized that it had seen lots of adventures itself. The evidence was everywhere. It had a hole here, a patch there, and pretty mismatched buttons. Suddenly, I felt my toes tingle in my moccasins. Today, I would discover the past adventures of the hand-me-down sweater. I headed to the kitchen, hungry and thoughtful. I jumped when my mother asked me, Dear, are you okay? I answered as I usually do. Oh, sure, mother, just in the middle of an investigation. Actually, about this sweater, she glanced over her shoulder at me. Why does it have all these holes and patches and pretty mismatched buttons? I'm not sure, sweet pea. Is that the old purple cashmere cardigan that my friend Nancy Nylon gave you? I bet you wouldn't mind if you called and asked her. I rang Mrs. Nylon and she invited me over for tea later that day. On my way to her house, I made an unbelievable discovery. In the flowers outside Mrs. Nylon's door, something shiny caught my eye. It was a button. Not only that, but it was the same button as the glittery blue button on my sweater. I pocketed the button and rang the doorbell. The plot had thickened. Nancy Nylon opened the door with a cheery smile and a hug. Molly, how lovely to see you. I noticed that her sweater had all mismatched buttons, too. She squinted at me through her spectacles. Isn't that my old sweater I gave you? It still looks fabulous. As we settled in with tea and cucumber sandwiches, it was time to get down to business. I have some questions about this old sweater and this mysterious button I found in your bushes, I declared. Mrs. Nylon took a sip of her tea and grinned. Mrs. Nylon's pet parrot squawked in its cage. You know, Molly, coincidences are a very important part of any adventure, Mrs. Nylon said, holding up the button and examining it in a ray of sunlight with a magnifying glass. Not only that, she continued, but everyone and everything has a history, even buttons and sweaters. She gets it, I thought to myself. Can you tell me about the history of this sweater, please? Gladly, she obliged. It's not every day that someone asks me a question like that. You're quite an inquisitive young lady. Just doing my job, I replied. After all, life's an everyday adventure. We both laughed as the parrot squawked, Adventure! Adventure! My grandmother used to have a box of beautiful buttons. This one you found must have fallen off one of my sweaters ages ago. Whenever I lost a button, she would sew on a random pretty new button from her collection. So that explains the mismatched buttons. Precisely. That sweater was my favorite as a girl, and I was always asking my grandmother to fix it up. Sometimes there was nothing wrong with it, and I just wanted a change. My grandmother taught me to sew, and ever since, I've been adding my own original touches to my wardrobe. In fact, some of those buttons on your sweater were sewed on by me, and some of them by my grandmother. Amazing, I exclaimed. But what happened to the box of buttons? The parrot squawked what sounded like the word attic. Perhaps, Mrs. Nylon said to the parrot, shall we go up to the attic and investigate Molly? Mrs. Nylon's attic was a mess of musty and magical things pouring out of every nook and cranny. I could have spent the rest of my week exploring all the cool stuff in there. After rummaging through the drawers of a big purple bureau in the corner of the room, Mrs. Nylon produced a small wooden box. Here it is, she said, smiling. There's nothing like buttons to bring back memories. She opened the box, and I was blasted by an overflow of different colors, shapes, and sizes. We stayed up there for quite some time chatting. Every button seemed to have its own unique character and history. Soon it was time for me to go home. 
As I tidied up with Mrs. Nylon, I accidentally caught my sweater on the door hinge. I heard a button fall to the floor. Mrs. Nylon said, I think you should pick out a new button from the box and make this so-called hand-me-down sweater your own. In a flash, Mrs. Nylon sewed on a shiny red and orange sequin button from the box of beautiful buttons. My moccasins were tingling like crazy. She proclaimed, This is a new chapter in the history of the sweater. As I walked home, I resolved to give the sweater a whole bunch of new experiences. I gave the sweater and myself a great big hug, and I soared like an airplane down the sidewalk. I tried dance moves never attempted before. I jumped like a kangaroo into the backyard. I was so tired from all my new experiences with my sweater that I decided to rest under the shade of my most favorite tree. Dinner's ready, I heard my mother exclaim. I ran in for dinner with a whole new appreciation for my hand-me-down sweater. So, it seems everything has a past and a future. With a little imagination, even old tattered things can be a source of wondrous new adventures. Molly Moccasins, Everyday Adventurer.